I often take um, the little Ryko 360 uh, camera around to get some nice environment maps. And sometimes, uh, as you can see here, they're not particularly level, so there's not a nice constant horizon. And you can see my mammothly distorted hands in the bottom of the frame here. Um, so I just thought I'd quickly show uh, this pretty pretty cool thing you can do in um, Affinity Photo, which is the live project mode for editing stuff. So if you go to Layer, Live Projection, Equa Rectangular Projection, you can see we have a nice 360 view. Just use the straighten dial here. Like so, and center coordinate system, and that updates so it's nice and straight. We have my hand here as well, let's just adjust the field of view and bring up the clone stamp tool or the heel tool, whichever you prefer. Just, uh, I mean, it, it doesn't have to be perfect, obviously, because it's, I mean, for my use anyway, it's just mainly going to be um, as an environment map for nice realistic uh, reflections for 3D models and 3D rendering. Reflections and light. Uh, the Theta, Ryko Theta, I think S is what I have, is not, it, it can do bracketing mode, but normally I'm not hanging around there long enough to set up and fire off um, multiple images. So here it's just using HDR rendering mode and it's just saving a, um, a fairly wide dynamic range but compressed into 8-bit. So afterwards I tend to expand that um, yeah. Oops. So, let's go to layer, live projection, remove. Actually, I think I just want to go back in and see if I can correct those horizontals a bit. Something like that. Center, live project, remove. Yeah, that's pretty good. And you can access these 8-bit um, HDR. I don't know why they call them HDR. They're not really HDR, I suppose. 8-bit environment maps uh, from supertextures.co.uk slash HDRI, where I upload everything for free. You can use it for free for commercial, non-commercial, whatever you want. Thanks for watching.